Please subscribe to my channel for more video. Please like and share. Amir Khan dismisses Kelbrook claims and keeps eyes on Floyd Mayweather. Amir Khan has described claims that he has provisionally agreed to fight Kelbrook at Wembley Stadium as disrespectful and says his focus is solely on securing a super fight, preferably against Floyd Mayweather Jr. In 2015, Khan heads into negotiations to seal the contest he most craves in the strongest possible position following his unanimous points victory over Devin Alexander at the MGM Grand at the weekend and having become a free agent after the expiry of his deals with the Showtime TV network and Golden Boy promotions. Khan is expected to meet his advisor Al Heyman, who retains close relations with Mayweather, in the next few days and, although sources claimed that Khan expects to continue working with Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya's company, there is an intriguing freeness to any future discussions he will have in the chase to line up a fight with two of boxing's biggest stars. Mayweather, the sport's undisputed pound-for-pound -pound king, is the fight the 28-year-old Briton wants most, yet Manny Pacquiao is also on his radar. I want to get the ball rolling as soon as possible. I'll speak to all Heyman and Golden Boy. Where? Do I go from here is the question I will ask for sure, said Khan. I am a free agent now. Oscar really believes he can get me the big fights. It's all about super fights now. I will sit down with people in the UK and see where we go. Meeting Brooke, the IBF welterweight champion, on domestic soil certainly interests Khan but he was angered by suggestions from the Sheffield fighters promoter, Eddie Hearn that the pair have shaken hands on about at Wembley on June 13. They haven't spoken to me about anything, the two-time world champion said. They don't know what is happening in my career, they can't start booking places like that. To be honest, it is disrespectful. I don't know anything about it yet he's already booking the news. I don't know how desperate he is but that's like me saying to Floyd, hey, I have booked Wembley for us and you have to come and fight me next. If he has booked it, let him fight there. I can't believe he is rushing into this big fight with me, especially coming off the back of a serious injury. Surely he would want an easy fight rather than me. He wants me because of the money. It will be huge in the UK. I am not saying no because I want to fight at some time. Stylistically, if we fight the same way as we did against Alexander we will beat Kelbrook. Golden Boy has promoted all of Khan's fights in the U.S. and his team have forged close bonds with De La Hoya, who has promised to provide the opportunities for Khan to conquer the world. It did, however, advise the Olympic silver medalist to cancel the fight with the then world champion Alexander last December, thinking Mayweather was next before the 47-0 start performed a heartbreaking U-turn. Khan's status as an elite welterweight has been elevated, though. He wants to know when and who his next opponent will be by mid-January but much depends on Mayweather and Pacquiao finally putting pen to paper. With Mayweather, who said last week he wants to lock horns with the Filipino next May, having only two bouts left on his Hounds 220M Showtime contract, time is not on Khan's side, though he believes Mayweather has no option but to face him. I was there. I didn't even know Floyd has talked about Pacquiao until about an hour before the fight, said Khan. I was so focused I didn't think about it and anyway, Floyd said he would fight me last May and that never happened. He likes to mention names but I am going to leave it to my team. I have already had calls from Pacquiao's business manager, he asked if I would be interested in fighting him and I said yes. I heard he was in the same club in Vegas where we had the after party but he was downstairs and I was upstairs. He walked in with 30 people with him. Maybe he ran away when he heard 